Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't start. But you are back from <laughs> driving the yellow cheesy ride that picks up passengers from a point A to a point B. And which is, well, normally made for G. I don't know, man. That is not very channel of you. Due to the fact I make G, I don't know, more money than you. Huh? What? No, wait, what? That's so not true, so not true. Look at it this way. In a human's life, how many times does he or she need a pipe fixed? Let's say once a month. Oh no, let's even increase that more. Five times a month. Now, how many times does he or she need to take that yellow cheesy ride that picks up passengers from a point A to a point B? <sighs> You're still a chick who drives a cab. At least I'm not a man who can't pay his bills. <laughs> I hate you, and I hate my job. That's okay, Joe. Come in Wilma's arm. Get reconforted by your wife. Come on, come on. <laughs> Thanks, darling. Wait, did you say reconforted? I just meant... Alright, maybe you make more money than I do. But at least we can agree that I have the hardest job. I'm doing a lot of physical labor and lifting sinks and crawling around under basements and all you do is sit on your cab all day long. So my job is more demanding. That's all I'm saying. Right? Do you think dealing with muggers and helping folks wrestle luggage and pets and all kinds of whatnot into the back isn't demanding? Or trying to figure out where the heck people are trying to go when half the time they don't even know? Do you think that isn't demanding? I was just... Or trying to deal with a flat tire with people who won't even get out of the cab while you're trying to jack it up or running out of gas in a neighborhood so bad you don't even want to get out and... Okay, okay, I was just... I'll tell you what's demanding. Why don't you come here and let me reconfort you? What? Oh, you got me so mad, I forgot what I was going to tell you. Why I was late. I got you mad because you were late. You'll never guess what happened to me on the way here. The most amazing thing. I saw your blogs. He can't afford to run his truck anymore. He's bought a donkey cart and pulling it himself to work. Hallelujah. I can get all his work now. Poor old Joe. Joe the plumber hates his job but loves his cab driver wife Wilma, who earns more than he does. Wilma claims to work just as hard as Joe, which Joe denies. A donkey cart? He said he was in trouble at the plunger convention last year. My only competition has no truck to haul supplies. I should get all of his business and make more money than you. And when I do, Here's what I'll do. You mm -hmm. can't sleep all day. What? We're going to the park, remember? Oh, I thought I was there. Right, oh. You drive. As usual. Boy, it seems like only yesterday we were here. It was yesterday. I dreamed about what happened then, when you were late. Because I saw Joe Bloggs pushing the cart. My only competition in town doesn't have enough money for a truck. Which is good news, because people always used to call him first. Well, it's not my fault we're both plumbers named Joe. Joe Bloggs Plumbing comes before Joe Zebra Plumbing in the phone book. I told you to change it to Apple. Joe Apple? What kind of name is that? No, change it to Apple Plumbing. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. Now that he's nearly out of business, I'll get all his work and make more money than you. Instead of hating my job, I'll finally be truly happy. You'll be happy because you'll be working harder? 
Well, because I'll make more money, and I've been dreaming about what I'll do with it. You keep saying that and never telling me what it is. You said it yesterday in the park. You said it when you came home and fell asleep again on the couch. Well, now I'm going to tell you, and you're going to be surprised. I'll be surprised if you don't spend it on another one of those foolish inventions of yours. Well, this one isn't foolish. It's going to make us a ton of money. And it's so simple, I wonder why no one's ever thought of it before. All right, well, let's sit down, and I'll explain my idea to you. You see, I'll attach a device to each of my customer's plumbing network. If the device detects a blockage, it'll send a signal to a spotlight mounted on the roof. Kind of like the bat signal, but instead of a bat, it shines a big P into the sky. When I see the signal, I'll race there in my souped-up plumbing truck. Then, Bob's your uncle, I climb up the side of the building using plungers on my hands to stick to the building, crawl in through an open window, unclog the blockage using one of the numerous tools on my utility belt, then back out the window I go with the customer none the wiser. I'll be just like a superhero. I wonder if I'll have a supervillain to try to thwart me. You know, like someone called the Clog. I suppose I'll need a secret identity. That has got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. How are you going to see this signal in the daytime? And how are you going to get paid if the customers don't know you've been there? Huh? And what about me, Joe? You think I want a husband with a secret identity racing around at all hours of the day and night? You can be my sidekick, and I'll let you drive my super plumbing truck. Oh, Joe, grow up. Look down there, Wilmer. After the plunger convention, we all got together to make Joe and Joe ink. Howdy, my friend. The vans did look good. What do you think, ma'am?